American is dead, that other Americans were critically wounded, isn't that enough mission failure for you to say that the person who decided that that building should not be in the security perimeter probably ought to be stepped down? Senator, I think you're using the word decided, and I think we need to allow the the investigation play out to include so who, okay so a, a who did who, who did make the decision then if it wasn't the lead uh, site agent who made the decision not to put that in the security perimeter senator you're zeroing in on one particular agent i want to find out exactly yeah what was the entire decision process so i think yeah i want to be neutral and make sure that we get to the bottom of it and interview everybody in order to determine if there was more than one person who perhaps exercised bad judgment well sure my question is why don't you relieve everybody of duty who made bad judgment so, yeah, you're right. I am zeroing in on somebody. I'm trying to find somebody who's accountable here. And we so will. you're telling me that the person who made the decision not to include this in the perimeter has not been relieved of duty. What about the person who is in charge of the interoperability of radio frequencies between local law enforcement and, and Secret Service? Has that person been relieved of duty? Uh, no, Senator, because interoperability is a challenge, uh, is a greater challenge than just one person. On that day, we had a counterpart system uh, it failed. As the person who decided, who made the decision to send Donald Trump onto stage, knowing that you had a security situation, has that person been relieved of duty? No, sir, they haven't. Because... As the person who decided not to pull the former president off of stage when you knew that, in your words, the locals were working a serious security situation, has that person been relieved of duty? Uh, no, sir. Again, I refer you back to my original answer that we are investigating this through a mission assurance. And as opposed to zeroing in on one, what more do you need to investigate to know exactly what the what decision more do you need to investigate was? to know that there were critical enough failures that some individuals ought to be held accountable? I mean, what more do you need to know? What I need to know is exactly what happened, and I need my investigators to do their job. And I cannot. A lot of people didn't do I their cannot jobs. put my thumb on the scale. Otherwise, what do you mean? Put your thumb the on the objective. Scale? The obje You're asking me, Senator, to completely make a rush to judgment about somebody failing. I acknowledge this was a failure of the Is it not service. prima facie that somebody has failed? A former president was sir, shot. Sir, this could have been our Texas School Book Depository. I have lost sleep over that for the last 17 days, been just like you have. Somebody and I will tell you, Senator, I will tell you, Senator, that I will not rush to judgment, that people will be held accountable, and I will do so with integrity and not rush to judgment and put people I can't unfairly believe that you persecuted. Are, I, unfairly persecuted? Unfairly, got people sir, who are we dead. have to be able to have a proper investigation into this, Senator. You said earlier that you've got to make sure that your protocols are followed, and unless there's a protocol violation, people wouldn't be disciplined. I would just say to you, I don't really care that much about your protocols. I think if your protocols don't provide for the fact that when a former president is shot, when an American is killed, when other rally goers, innocent people who just showed up on the day when they are shot at and critically wounded, if that isn't a protocol violation, prima facie, you should revise your protocols. Senator, I think this is where you and I agree. This was a failure and we will get to the bottom of it. Well, I hope you're going to do something about it. Let me ask you something else. The Real Clear Politics reports this morning that you were directly involved in denying additional security resources and personnel, including counter snipers, not just to this event, but over the last two years that President Trump's, President Trump's team repeatedly asked for these additional resources, and you personally were involved in denying them. Is, is that true? Senator, as I stated earlier, that is not true. So you never denied any resources to former President Trump's team? Uh, no, not me. No, and, sir. And you, weren't, and you weren't involved in any of that? You no, were never sir, involved in the decision making? No, sir, I was not. Let, let me ask you just one or two other things here quickly. Well, whistleblowers tell me that, in fact, law enforcement were stationed to be on that roof and that law enforcement abandoned their post because it was too hot. Is that accurate? Senator, I have heard that as well. Uh, again, uh, they posted up inside. And I think moving forward, as I as I said earlier, we're going to ensure that state and local counter snipers are on roofs. But but do you do you know if someone was supposed to be on the roof? Do you know if someone was in fact? That's what the whistleblowers tells me. That may or may not be accurate. Do you know that to be the fact? Was somebody posted to the roof, local law enforcement or whomever? Uh, I do not know that to be a fact. Well, can I ask you why you don't know that? Again, Senator, don't we are looking at this, and they should have been on that roof. 
And the fact that they were in the building is something that I'm still trying to uh, uh, understand. I just want to express my frustration, Director, that 17 days or whatever it's been that you that whistleblowers are telling us more than you are. And you don't know. You haven't ascertained if there was supposed to be law enforcement on the roof. That seems like a pretty basic fact. I'm also told that local law enforcement suppliers offered the Secret Service drones and you declined them. Is that true? So, Senator, uh, one, I've been very transparent and forthcoming. Uh, there Your agency was... has not been transparent and forthco- forthcoming, so please, but let's not go there. I have been forthcoming, sir. You've been, well, that remains to be seen. You've been on the job a few days. So far, you've fired nobody. Now, the drones. Thank you, Were sir. Were you offered drones? Senator Hall. So there was an offer to fly a drone on that day. And why did you deny it? Uh, again, Uh, I think the ability of local law enforcement to provide an asset, we probably should have taken them up on it if if it was offered. 